All right, uh, today we got a real doozy of a review here. I have Jim Beam Lemonade uh, and Punch Share Pack. There are 12 total cans in here. We're not gonna drink all 12, that not happening. Um, but there are four different flavors, uh, three of each. There is strawberry, citrus, black cherry, black cherry and sweet tea and we are going to try all four and I will of course review them and rank them and let you know what we think um, so this is the first this is the lemonade can um, then we have wait no this is black cherry don't listen to me uh, this is sweet tea if you can see that and then I got strawberry and lastly uh, citrus now they are all five percent if I'm correct yeah they're all five percent so nothing crazy I kind of like the artwork kind of retro feel but uh, we'll start with the sweet tea I guess Um, you can definitely tell it's a Jim Beam product. Uh, it's heavy on their classic taste. Like if you if you've had Jim Beam before, you know that flavor. You know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm honestly not getting a lot of tea, but it's not bad. It's not a bad taste. It's just if you're looking for what you'd expect of a normal spiked uh, tea, like an Arnold Palmer or something, don't go here. But if you like a somewhat sweeter Jim Beam drink with less alcohol, I guess that's your solution. I would give that like a five out of 10. It's not bad, it's not great. Uh, next I got Black Cherry. Yeah, real heavy on the black cherry. Getting a lot of black cherry there. Um, it's basically the flavor from the last one, but a lot of black cherry thrown on top, which I feel like you either love black cherry or you hate black cherry. I fall into the camp of not a huge fan of black cherry, but again, not bad. A little bit worse than the last one though, in my opinion, you might like it more. Um, I'll give it 4.5 out of 10. I got strawberry now. Mm. So, the strawberry is very strong. This is by far, out of the ones I've tried so far, my favorite. Um, It's pretty light. Uh, it's not too sweet, but it's definitely on the sweeter side. The strawberry is a good balance. Again, with all of them, you definitely get a you get like a, a hit of that that classic Jim Beam flavor. But um, this isn't bad. I could see you know some of your out channel friends or whatever. You can put back a couple of these, although they might call you a little bitch. It's definitely a little, it's a, it's, it's a girly drink. You might be a little bitch for it. But uh, last one, citrus. Huh. Whoa. That was horrible. Um, imagine laying outside on the road on a hot summer day and you decide to start licking asphalt. That's what that tastes like. That was so bad. I was not prepared for that. Oh, I feel like I have to try it again for science. That is a horrendous taste. That's that is bad. Um, I didn't rate the strawberry. I don't think I would give it a six out of ten. This I'm giving a one out of ten. This is terrible. This is. Uh, 
utterly abhorrent. I think there's a ghost in the room. I don't know if you saw that. Might just start freaking out. I might die, but then again, after drinking that, I wish I was dead. Dude, I swear if a ghost pops up, that'll be some next level shit. Anyway, um, ranking is one uh, as best to worst. This is definitely best. Um, I would put sweet tea second, black cherry third, and far, far in the back, you have the, um, the lime. I don't know if you can see this. There you go. Now you can see what's going on. Yeah. Don't get the lime, or the citrus, rather. Don't, don't do the citrus. That shit's bad. 